Hello, my name is Simon Bates, and uh, this is XV3001 Bulwark Assault, and I'm going to showcase to you what I've got up to in my final week of development. First thing you note is that you now have this menu system with start, controls, and quit. If you click quit, it will quit the program. We'll start, it'll start the game. I'm going to showcase you the controls. So this is the overview of all the controls in the game, uh, and I also want to highlight that the blue bar is the damage output. Now, here's something to note is that uh, even though you can use uh, the right uh, stick on the, the controller to move around, unfortunately I didn't have enough time uh, to integrate it so you can actually uh, click using the uh, A button for instance. If you click start we enter into the game and so this week I, I also not only have I done the menu system I've also uh, designed and finished the level so you start off in this room and another thing you notice is that the gun has actually changed colour to blue and instead of its original white colour uh, this is for, I'll explain a little bit later, but when we get into this uh, section where you have lots of yellow, so uh, it's a bit harder to sort of, especially when you get into the shades of pink, it's a lot harder to identify, okay, which one, which colour is which. Uh, also, now, uh, when you fire the weapon, so it has a showcase that the overheat works a bit better, is that your gun actually glows, and also... Uh, when it does glow, a overheat thing will come up and it will say that, hey, it's overheated and that you need to uh, wait for it to cool down. Now, I also wanted to do uh, the white lights be sort of where the players went to go and the yellow lights are meant to be more uh, of areas where there will be enemies. And there's also a third light colour which we'll introduce later. And this little purple circle is actually a vent and if I walk towards it, uh, an enemy will emerge from it. And the enemies, which you might have noticed, is that when I shoot the enemy, the enemy will uh, transition from being red to black. There's a second enemy, and some more enemies will spawn from these vents. Uh, also, the enemies now, when they attack me, they actually deal some damage. And also, they indicate which side I'm being attacked from as well. So this enemy is attacking me from the back and the right, and if the enemy kills me, so it goes down there, I actually die and I fail the mission. So I can either go to the main menu or restart. Start. Start from the start of the game. Uh, also, you can press uh, escape and you can pause the game, again send you to the main menu, or you can resume as, again. Uh, so what... I'm just going to show you for the rest of the video is it's just going to be me going through the level and showing how I would beat it. Now in this section uh, I had this little turning and the enemy would spawn from here. Basically that's to uh, show to the player that it's safe and they have to be definitely very careful when they go around corners. Furthermore, there's a white light here. Now, white lights, I wanted to uh, show that, that they're where you're supposed to go. And so it's intended that you uh, were able to stay here and sort of man uh, guard. And as you can tell, I was a bit foolish in that I overheated. And so now the enemy will be able to uh, attack me because of my foolishness. Now I can swiftly retaliate and kill the enemy. I also have it, uh, if you shoot the enemy, uh, they actually do walk slower as well. Uh, I found this uh, because the, the player definitely got very overwhelmed the more enemies uh, there were. Now this is the third light colour I was on about, is this green light colour. And the green light colour is meant to be above all the doors, not above the first door, uh, because it, it, uh, there's a slight green glow on the button, uh, and, it pulses, and it was a bit too... Uh, it was hard to distinguish 
wait that's what you uh, that's pulsing what you can do is you can shoot that and you can open it up and now you get introduced to the health thing I change it from the word health to a plus the common symbol for health is that sort of cross uh, I tried to do uh, white but it didn't really work so I settled on black and as you can see it's, it's changed color from a green to more of a yellowish hue this room is a rest room where the player can go into and just rest from the combat um, but then the player is able to uh, open the door again highlighted by this green uh, so green is is good green is a good color in this game uh, and yellow is a bit more dangerous and white is more so just to guide the player a bit more neutral the player enters into this space and they can kind of see there is an enemy there and there's a lot of spawn points around and so i need to go and uh, fight the enemies but what you can also do is you can kind of shoot the enemies as well from uh, this way just let me reload and you can continually move forward, which is the main feature of the game. Now, the reason why I introduced uh, these ducks into the game, these little vents, uh, initially this was part of the original idea, but I didn't realise if I had enough time to do it, because it's mostly going to be areas of the uh, place where only the uh, enemies could get through. Um, you can see this is where I was before, and what I did is I also hide, highlighted the places and the spawn points of the enemies with this yellow light around the level. And there were actually some enemies who were sitting there, but when they saw the player. Uh, now, the reason, another reason why I added in the ducks was so that when the player moves through the uh, level, uh, that when the enemies see them, that they won't just all just charge the enemy straight away. I wanted to have a bit more of a space thing space out area uh, down there is just alternate routes to get through and then finally it sort of leads you over to this area again that green light indicating okay this is the way to go this is the good thing and then we can hit that door uh, button and if you can see that's one and um, I've hit the one nothing happens uh, but it's the two is flashing and so this is meant to be a lift and you're on level one and so there'll be a level two I haven't made the level 2, but if I continue this project, I'd make a second level, and this would be how you get to the second level. And currently, it just sends you to the start. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and uh, yeah, goodbye.